Hello friends, myself Amar. Now in this video, I will discuss about Ajax framework status. Okay. Now here what I have done, I have created a project named as Ajax status and it has a page named as index.xhtml. Here I have created a folder named as images. To create the folder, you need to right click on the web pages new. After that, go to folder, give the folder name. Here I have given the folder name as images and inside the images folder I have kept the image named as loader.gif okay. Now first of all we need to know what is this Ajax status for that I have written a short note just see Ajax status is a notifier for the Ajax request it uses facets to represent the request status means whenever we send the Ajax request then it has certain status. What are the status? Default means initially visible when the page is loaded. Start means before the Ajax request begins. Success when the Ajax response is received without error. Error when the Ajax response is received with an HTTP error. Complete when everything finishes. Now remember if complete facet is defined then we will not be able to see this success or error facets. Okay. So if you want to track the status of the Ajax request then we need to use the Ajax status. For that what I have done, I have created a project and inside the index.xhtml I have written this code. Here inside the body tag I have used the Ajax status. It has a delay attribute means when the Ajax request will start. This time is specified in millisecond. After that I have used a style. Now in the facet tag I have used name equals to default as I told you that this Ajax status uses facets to represent the request status right and these facets I have used here. So the first facet the name is default because here you can see the facets are default start success error and complete right. So here I have used default and in the output text I have written value status not downloaded okay. After that I have used another facet name start. Now when the start facet will work before the Ajax request begins right. Now here I have used the graphic image and in the graphic image I have specified the value as images slash loader.gif. Now as you remember here I have created the images folder inside which the loader.gif image is there right. After that again I have used the facet and here I am using the complete facet and in the output text I have written status downloaded right. Now whenever this start facet will work at that time it has a callback attribute which is called as the on start. Similarly for success we have a callback which is called as the on success on error and so on right. So whenever this start will work what it will what will happen it will call this on start callback and inside this on start callback what I have done I have written pf status dialog dot so now this status dialog is nothing but the id of this uh, uh, dialog widget now this dialog widget I have already discussed here I have used these properties these things I am not going to discuss because dialog I have already discussed in my previous videos now inside this dialog I have used the graphic image and in the graphic image I have specified the value as images loaded or gif this means whenever whenever the ajax request will start at that time we will be this on start callback will be called and we will be able to see this dialog okay similarly on success this means success means what success means when the ajax response is received without error so when the ajax request is received without error response is received without error then what will happen this on success will be called and what it will do it will hide the status dialog okay and here I have created a button having the value as download now whenever this download button will be clicked at that time the Ajax request will fire and whenever the Ajax request will fire then this will start and whenever this will start it will call the on start callback which will display this dialog box and when the Ajax response is received successfully at that time this dialog box will be hidden okay this is how the Ajax status works now let me show you it, now the initially the status is not downloaded why because in the first facet when it is default default means what initially visible when the page is loaded 
and when the page is loaded at that time inside the output text i have written status not downloaded that's why this status not downloaded is displayed now once i click here then you can see a dialog um, is generated and the message is displayed as downloaded let me show you once again once i click here at that time see that loader has been displayed and the status is downloaded this means the ajax response is received successfully okay and this is the entire code just have a look so i hope you have liked my video if you have liked my video please subscribe to my channel thank you so much